The president said today next Tuesday is the earliest he can visit Puerto Rico without disrupting relief operations there. More now from White House correspondent Margaret Brennan. Everybody has said it's amazing the job that we've done in Puerto Rico. We're very proud of it. I think we're really getting really good marks for the work we're doing. So uh, I think we've done a really good job. We're President Trump said Puerto Rico's governor personally thanked him today for the federal response. But the president had been noticeably silent about the worsening devastation. Last night, Mr. Trump sent his first tweets on the crisis, pointing out that before the storms, Puerto Rico was, quote, already suffering from broken infrastructure and massive debt. Mr. President, these are American citizens. They desperately need our help. Democratic Senator Chuck Schumer of New York, the state with the largest Puerto Rican population, said Mr. Trump was not doing enough. He insists that relief and recovery efforts are doing well or doing great. Sometimes it has no relationship to the facts on the ground as if this is a public relations campaign. Florida Republican Senator Marco Rubio visited Puerto Rico yesterday. I mean, every day that goes by, it's going to get worse, not better. This is an island sitting in the middle of an ocean, and it's a big ocean. It's a very big ocean. And uh, uh, it, we're, we're doing a really good job. FEMA Administrator Brock Long said local authorities must do more so to prepare for natural disasters. We do not have a true culture of preparedness in this country, and we got a lot of work to do. FEMA said it already has 10 ships and barges en route to the region over the next 48 hours to bring generators, emergency power, food, and water. Anthony? Can't get there soon enough. Margaret Brennan, thanks.